Hi YouTube, Kevin Koo here. Thought I'd show you my latest creation. The other night, the wife and daughter and I watched uh, the Charlie Brown special, the Christmas special from 1965. And it inspired me to make a little Charlie Brown tree for my wife. Yesterday, my daughter and I were at the gun range. And uh, there's a little strip of land that runs along the side of the area where uh, the target holders are. And it all, it's periodically cut back. So you're never going to see a tree growing there. And um, I spotted this little sapling here that was in the ground right in front of one of the target frames. And it reminded me greatly of the Charlie Brown tree. So I uh, pulled out my handy dandy pocket knife, cut it off at the base. And uh, when I got home in my yard, um, I had a stack of limbs I had cut off an apple tree. And they had been sitting there getting, getting drying out for years. So you can see how rough I cut it there. But that's a piece uh, of one of the branches that was there. I uh, cut that on my chop saw. Drilled a hole as close in size to the diameter of the uh, little trunk on it. And then I took my pocket knife and whittled it down until it fits snugly in the hole. This obviously is just a uh, glass, one of the older style glass Christmas balls. I actually pulled it off our Christmas tree downstairs. And uh, the base, which would be Lionel's uh, blanket, is actually from a bag of cleaning rags I bought at a Marden salvage for 25 cents. It's sort of a flannel like material and it's almost the identical color to uh, what his blanket actually was. And of course, there's Charlie Brown. My wife loves it and all her Facebook friends love it. So maybe that'll become a new family tradition making a Charlie Brown tree. We really enjoyed watching it. You know, it reminds you of what Christmas should be about. You know, about the meaning of Christmas as opposed to the commercialism that Christmas has become. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy it. Bye-bye.